Lucid Motors, a company that was founded in 2007 under the name of Altivio and originally focused on building electrical vehicle batteries and power terrains for other vehicle manufacturers. Today, the company is worth over $22 billion, and this is a subject to today's video. Welcome to episode 1 of this new series on EV manufacturers. Starting off, Lucid CEOs and CTO Peter Rawlson formerly served as the Vice President of Engineering and Chief Engineers of the Model S at Tesla Incorporated, and a Vice President Derek Jenkins previously worked as the Head of Design at Mazda North American Operations. The company has seen investments from Syn Capital, Mitsu, Venrock, Jafco, and others. The company rebranded to Lucid Motors in October 2016 and officially announced its intent to develop an all-electric, high-performance luxury vehicles. On November 29, 2016, state and company officials announced the planned construction of Lucid's $700 million manufacturer plant in Casa Grande, Arizona, which was projected to employ up to 2,000 workers by the mid-2020s. Initially, building 20,000 cars and expanding up to 130,000 cars per year. The factory was then to be designed to support a maximum capacity of 380,000 cars per year. As of November 2016, the company had planned to break ground in 2017 and have cars in production by early 2019. The first vehicles planned rolling off the assembly line on September 28, 2021. On September 17, 2018, Lucid Motors announced that they were in talks with the Public Investment Fund, which is the Saudi Arabian Sovereign Investment Fund, for funding valued at over 1 billion US dollars. The investment was completed in April 2019. The investment will fund the final engineering and testing of the Lucid Air model. The first phase construction of its manufacturing plant in Casa Grande, Arizona. The commercial production of Lucid Air and the Lucid Worldwide Retail Strategy beginning in North America. Construction of the plan began in late 2019 and the first phase was completed in December 2020. The second phase of construction is ongoing and will increase the capacity from 34,000 to 90,000 vehicles per year. The completed factory, which has four phases, will have a combined manufacturing capacity of about 400,000 cars per year. In February 2019, Lucid Motors announced a deal of around 11.75 billion US dollars to merge Churchill Capital No. 4, a publicly traded SPAC, with the CEO Ralson announcing that Lucid has intentions to produce its Project Gravity SUV by 2023, then offer a competitor for Tesla Model 3 by 2024 or 2025. In July 2021, the Wall Street Journal reported that the public investment fund will own over 60% of Lucid's when the company goes public. The fund will record a profit of nearly $20 billion from investments in Lucid in 2018. Lucid began its first all-electrical air sedan in Arizona in September 2021 and started delivering them to the customers as of late October 2021. On February 28, 2022, Lucid decreased its 2022 outlook production from 20,000 vehicles to 12,000 to 14,000 vehicles citing supply chain issues. We'll give an update on this throughout the video. Now going on towards production. For their Casa Grande, Arizona facility, that facility is the first greenfield or purpose-built EV factory in North America. It is designed for their exact specifications and is being built with such efficiency and speed that they've completed the first phase 12 months after breaking ground. It's also outfitted with the world's most advanced production line equipments and a factory will have initial capacity to produce 10,000 cars per year and over 300,000 annually with planned expansion. Some of the latest highlights when it comes to World's Productions including their AMP-1 Phase 2 expansion that will increase capacity to 90,000 units per annum by early 2023 and add an additional 2.85 million square feet to their AMP-1 facility. The expansion to include production for Project Gravity SUV as well as additional production flexibility to meet demand for Lucid Air. The expansion will also include an in-factory logistics center, an on-site stamping facility, and relocations of their powertrain center. They also broke ground on the previously announced factory in Saudi Arabia with a capacity of up to 155,000 vehicles per year. Speaking of the Saudi Arabia new facility, 
Lucid advances global sustainability vision, announcing new details for the first overseas manufacturing facility at Saudi Arabia. Lucid's new factory to bring advanced electrical vehicle manufacturing to Saudi Arabia for the first time with a local capacity of 155,000 units. New Saudi factory expected to address growing global demands for Lucid electrical vehicles by increasing Lucid's global production capacity mid-decade to around half a million vehicles per year. Helped catalyze the transformation of Saudi Arabia's economy through Saudi's Vision 2030 and the Saudi's Green Initiative. Additionally, signing ceremony celebrates agreements estimates to provide financing and incentives to Lucid of up to $3.4 billion in aggregate over the next 15 years. Finally, government of Saudi Arabia reaffirms commitment to purchase up to 100,000 Lucid electrical vehicles over a 10-year period. On to delivery and other updates. Lucid continued to achieve key milestones demonstrating product leadership. They debuted the 1050 horsepower Lucid Air Grand Touring performance at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, recording the fastest time of any production car in the timed shootout, and they continue to see strong demand for their vehicles with over 37,000 customer reservations representing potential sales of approximately $3.5 billion. Despite all this positive momentum, along with their entire industry, they experienced supply chain and logistic challenges that limited their ability to ramp up production's volumes. A challenge that compounded by their limitations of their logistic systems resulted for them reducing their 2022 guidance to around 6 to 7,000 vehicles. They are taking decisive actions to remedy the challenges by bringing their logistics operations in-house and restructuring their logistics and manufacturing organizations and adding to their leadership and addressing these issues relentlessly to go on and remain confident in their ability to overcome these near-term challenges. As of October 12, 2022, Lucid produced 2,282 vehicles in quarter 3, 2022, and they're on track for their 2022 annual production guidance of six to 7,000 vehicles. Now, this number here, which is the 2,282 vehicles produced in quarter three, as in manufacturing facilities in Arizona, more than tripled the number produced in quarter two and delivered 1,398 vehicles during the same period. Some of the vehicles that are available for you to order or reserve online on their website includes the Air Grand Touring from $154,000 up to 1050 horsepower and up to 516 in range in miles. Additionally, the Air Touring, which starts from around 107,400, has 620 horsepower with 406 mile range. Also, the Air Pure, which goes on from $87,400, it has 480 horsepower and has around a range of 406 miles. You also have the Air Dream Edition, which has two different tiers. The Performance, which is a $169,000 car with 1111 HP and 471 mile ranges. Now the range version is for the same price and has 933 horsepower with 520 mile range. And one of the latest additions, the Air Sapphire, coming in from around $249,000, a quarter of a million, with more than 1,200 horsepowers and more than 200 miles per hour. One of the latest news, including their software updates, the UX 2.0 software update. Lucid Air is designed as a true software-defined vehicle with future-ready hardware to allow it to evolve over time to best meet the customer needs long after they take delivery. Lucid newest over-the-air or OTA software update is the most expensive to date, with significant advancements and improvement across the vehicle. Some of the newest features include the instant on-class cockpit and the pilot panel displays, the launch of Highways Assist for the Dream Drive Advanced Driver Assistance System, and the redesigned on-screen layouts. The Lucid UX 2.0 has already began initial phase for rollouts to customers' cars and will continue over the next several weeks. These updates are grouped into few categories, including the glass cockpit and pilot panel displays, the Dream Drive and Advanced Drive Assistance systems, and Intelligent Micro Lens Array Headlights, and finally, the Vehicle Entry and Exit Group. Some of their quarter two sales and service highlights, including 679 customer deliveries, 29 mobile vans in the fleet right now, 
with 64 nationwide approved body shops and 29 studio services centers. The balance sheet of Lucid ended the second quarter of 2022 with $4.6 billion cash and cash equivalents and investments. They continue to see this sufficient to drive them into 2023 and well into that. They also secured an ABL credit facility with an initial commitment of around $1 billion, providing them further flexibility to scale their business. In the second quarter of 2022, the research and developments and other expenses increased as they continue to invest into their business and to support customer deliveries, globalization efforts, and product expansion plans. They recognize that a non-cash gain of around $335 million related to a change in fair value to common stock will be changed depending on a number of factors at the end of each quarter. For OPEX and CAPEX, Lucid continues to invest in a business associated with their AMP1 production facility and the Phase 2 expansion plans. They continued investments in the vehicle programs and developments expansions of the retail delivery and service capabilities. In terms of their actual balance sheet, you have a decline of 10% for both their total liabilities and their total assets going from around 7.8 billion rounds end of year 2021 to the second quarter going to 7.1 billion. Now net loss attributable to common stock shareholders, that has a 16% decrease. So you went from 261 million to 222 million loss. Free cash flow, that has change of 137%. It went from 346 million negative to negative 823 million. Brushing over quickly over their guidance for 2022, it's 6 to 7k in terms of production volumes for vehicles. They believe that they have enough cash and cash equivalents to float them well into 2023 with additional capital expenditures of around approximately $2 billion in 2022 and the deliveries of the Air Touring and Air Pure later on this year with Project Gravity SUV production to begin in the first half of 2024. Now, moving on to some of the latest news that we might be interested in in terms of their leadership as well as the latest shelf offering. Some of their leadership positions includes Derek Carty, which has 23 years at Apple and a consultant for Lucid in the software team. Additionally, you have Stephen Davis which has more than 30 years of experience, leadership in Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, and held roles including Vice President of Manufacturing, Head of Manufacturing, Engineering and Vehicle Line Executive, and Director for the Asia-Pacific Region. S3 News also made a buzz a little bit ago around August 29th. Registration statement would allow Lucid to raise an aggregate of around $8 billion in primary capital in one or more offerings over the three years period after the registration statement is declared effective by the SEC. These capital raises could include common stock, preferred stocks, warrants, debt securities, and or units that are typically combination of two or more types of security. The securities that are being registered for resale by the selling shareholders or security holders include shares of common stocks that are currently held by certain of Lucid affiliates that are party of Lucid investor rights agreements, shares of common stock that Lucid sold in its pipe private emplacement in connection with the Lucid's DSPAC transaction in 2021. The private placement warrants that were originally issued to Churchill 4 LLC and remain subject to a lockup agreement. The shares of common stock that Lucid may issue for holders of the private placements and warrants upon the exercise of these warrants. Taking a look into institutional buyers, we're able to see that Churchill sponsor has increased their shares around 85.7%. Meanwhile, Magenta Financial liquidated 95% of their shares within the last year. Laser Capital and Artesia liquidated almost all their positions. However, in the last few months, there has been some mix in terms of institutional buyers. Some have been adding and some have been disposing their shares or liquidating. With around $23 or almost $24 target price, this company has room to grow. And this might be the start for Lucid Motors. This company here has a lot of potential and it has been existing for a bit and bringing good names towards leadership. Their price point might be a little bit higher and this will be adjusting as we go to the future, just as you get to see their productions are ramping. Up. This has been episode one for this series for EV. What do you think about this video and series? Make sure to down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day.